going to get my presentation on the screen? Cool. Okay. Uh, welcome to our market talk. Uh, a few from the trenches. I'm from uh, Platypus, and we're very excited to be here at the uh, Augmented World Expo. Uh, I'm Theo. I'm uh, the founder and uh, the lead programmer in uh, Platypus. And uh, this is uh, Kuhn, uh, designer and uh, engineer. And uh, back in the Netherlands, we have a team of uh, interns and freelancers and partners with whom we make uh, great augmented reality uh, products. Um, when we told our friends that we were going to San Francisco, they uh, told us we should make sure that we wear some flowers in our hair. So uh, we made a flower power app to do that. Um, which is, of course, just uh, uh, a joke, but a serious point uh, uh, that I want to emphasize that I think that augmented reality apps to be successful should have a fun uh, component in them, especially in education where you want to grab the attention of your uh, student. So we're based in the Netherlands in a small town in uh, uh, called Vlaardingen, and we love to uh, uh, augment the world. The world is our canvas. And th it's a great time to do that because we can stand on the shoulders of giants. There's a, a lot of technology that we can uh, uh, use to create uh, great apps. But uh, this also uh, occasionally has its uh, uh, downside. Uh, for example, we were very dependent on uh, Metaio uh, technology. And when Apple seized them and took them out of the market, that was a real uh, problem for us. We were uh, beaten, but... Uh, not defeated, we have to find new ways to uh, maintain uh, the, the, the quality that we want to provide as, uh, as Platypus. But our is, uh, um, the Augmented World Expo is a perfect opportunity to uh, uh, meet uh, new technology partners uh, and do just that. Uh, I want to share with you quickly one uh, success uh, story of a project we did in uh, education for uh, Nissan. They have this thing called uh, Nissan Academy where uh, they use this to train their employees. And for years, we've been working with them uh, uh, doing uh, web-based trainings. Uh, and we help them to take complex technical uh, subjects and present it in a form that it was more uh, comprehensible, easier to understand. And we wanted to move that content to augmented reality because we felt that that would make it even easier to understand. But it was hard to sell that. Uh, to Nissan. So uh, we took a risk and uh, developed uh, uh, a demo uh, in which we took uh, a Nissan Note e-learning content and just uh, put that in uh, augmented reality. And when Nissan saw that, they were convinced that the augmented reality was the way to go for their uh, uh, learning uh, for their courses. So uh, after this uh, demo, we were asked to uh, take the textbook of the Nissan Note and augment that. And um, that had a lot of uh, educational uh, value as well. Uh, things like uh, uh, animations that you can see from all sides, uh, see truths, etc. And this was such success that we could take it even further and augment real physical cars. Um, and we, we've now done that for several cars. We have augmented the exteriors where we put technical information uh, for uh, uh, mechanics on the car to learn uh, about new models from uh, uh, Nissan. We uh, augmented uh, the engine rooms where our app uh, can determine which engine you're looking at and give you accurate uh, technical uh, information uh, on that. We uh, augmented the interiors of cars where you can do funny things like uh, uh, visualize how uh, airflow will circulate through the car under different uh, settings and circumstances. And of course, we use augmented reality to create these exploded views. This is uh, something that's hard to do physically, but has a high educational value, exploding things. Um, not everyone has access to a physical car, so uh, we also made all the educational content available on 3D models. Um, and well, as a relatively small company, we would say that we been relatively uh, quite successful in uh, building great uh, AR experiences. Um, and this has to do with uh, the incredible uh, network uh, that we have and the technology that's uh, uh, available. We also want to inspire a new generation of uh, uh, augmented reality developers. And that's why we give uh, AR classes on a high school in our town. 
Uh, but sadly enough, uh, uh, those courses uh, were also uh, quite dependent on the material creator. So we're here to sh shop for an alternative for that as well. And we haven't really found that yet. So if anyone has any good ideas, please uh, come up to us uh, bec because we really want to take this forward. Uh, um, because we think that uh, AR is going to be a new uh, mass medium and everybody should learn to uh, read and write in that uh, medium. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up now, but I wanted to share uh, two observations with you that I ha had this week. Uh, one is that uh, uh, how you see really determines uh, what you see. And we as uh, uh, builders of uh, AR experiences really uh, influence how people see the world and how they interact with it. And we should take that uh, seriously because we really influence uh, the interactions that uh, people have with the world and the information that they take out of that. And one fun anecdote, when we arrived here in uh, San Francisco, we went to Fremont where we accidentally uh, met uh, Charlie Chaplin. And he told us that when he arrived in California, he only had a suitcase full of dreams. And his life has proven that you don't have to be big to make it big. Uh, Charlie didn't even have to talk. Uh, I'm going to wrap up my talk as well. Uh, we're very glad to be here. Uh, we'll be here the rest of this day and we'll be here tomorrow and uh, we're happy to connect uh, with you. Thank you. So questions? Any questions? Oh, here we are. Hi, Frillin from the Open University of the UK. Do you have an instructional design theory or pedagogical theory you base your, your work on? Um, well, we partner up with uh, uh, companies that have more knowledge uh, on how you, what's the word for it? Yeah, educate. educate. Um, so, uh, so uh, no, but we have access to that. Yeah. All right, other questions? No, so, and if you happen to be a company or know of a company in the building that does an AR platform, you might want to hook them up right there. There might be one or two. So uh, great, great work, guys. Great work. Thank you. Thank you.